pajama scientists! Today we're going to do a special activity and we're going to take off our scientist hat and put on our chef's hat. Because today we're going to be working in the kitchen. In hands-on we've created lots of yummy recipes like our fruit skewer with delicious fruits and we put apple and banana and mandarin and grape on the skewer. And we also made salad skewers with cheese and tomato and olives and maybe a little bit of oregano. So I hope you've been making these recipes for all of your family and friends at home. And today I'm going to give you our third recipe. Our third recipe is something inspired by a famous story you may know called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It's one of my favorites and because it's spring, and it's the time of year for all of the caterpillars to crawl out of the trees, we're going to make a chocolate caterpillar cake. All right, before we can start, we need to collect some ingredients, the food we need to cook, and the utensils, the materials we need to cook. I'm going to draw the ingredients on my big note paper and see if you can guess which ingredients we're going to need. Number one. Number two. Delicious. Number three. Number four. A red one. And a green one. There we go. And the last ingredient. If you guessed milk, chocolate, biscuits, fruit, and my favorite, la casitos, you got them all correct. Next, we need to collect some utensils to cook with. There's one. Another. And our last utensil.
<laughs> this one's a little difficult to guess. So our utensils that we need are a large bowl, a knife, and some toothpicks for decorations. All right, now it's time to start cooking. First thing you have to do is melt the chocolate. You can use your microwave in your kitchen, but wait. Before you apply heat to food, always ask an adult for help. It can be very dangerous and you can burn yourself. So we're going to put the chocolate into the microwave for one minute on medium heat. When the chocolate is melted, we can put it aside in the bowl. Now we'll use our large bowl and we've got to pour some milk into the bowl. Now take your biscuits and dip all of your biscuits into the milk one by one and then you can build the long body of your caterpillar. Once you've built the body of your caterpillar with 10 to 20 biscuits, you'll use the melted chocolate and spread the melted chocolate all over the body. This is going to hold all of the biscuits together. Use the knife to spread the chocolate. Now is the most fun part. We get to do decorations. You can use lacasitos for the eyes, toothpicks for the antennas, and any fruit in your home to create stripes or spots all over the caterpillar's body. You can look at the Caterpillar Cake PowerPoint for different ideas on how to decorate your caterpillar. See what you have in your kitchen. Maybe you have different types of chocolate, milk chocolate and dark chocolate to create some interesting patterns, or two different colors of apple skin to make stripes down his body, or maybe use grapes for spots and coconut for a sprinkling of fur. So if your friends and family are very hungry, you can make them the very delicious hungry caterpillar cake, but don't eat too much or you'll get a stomach ache just like the caterpillar. Bye for now everyone!